We had a great, great time here in Arizona. Now we're leaving and we hope that you enjoy some views from this beautiful city. The Hall of the Rock, uh, here is what it is. Hey, welcome. You are traveling with La Family Calderon. Today we're visiting Phoenix, Arizona, and this area is called the Hall of the Rock. The Hall of the Rock. We've been here for about a week, <clears throat> but we wanted to show you this before we left. We're, we're on our way back to California. This is the Hall in the Rock. Enjoy it. Let's go. La Family Calderón. Bakersfield is a beautiful city in the state of California. And as we were traveling from Arizona to uh, Reading, we stopped in Bakersfield for the night. It was a long drive. How many hours, Benji? Like 14 hours. Like 14 hours, so we had to stop and break it up somehow. Just for one day. Yeah. And guess what we found? What happened? What did we find? No, tell them tell them oh you my god we, we rented a hotel on Expedia and when we got to the hotel my wife was like ah! oh me <laughs> <laughs> because she she ella teme a las cucarachas so oh, there were like millions of cucarachas oh my god this place was infested and you know how many killed him this place, this place was infested with roaches and I don't know what else. And um, my wife put her stuff on the night table and these things were just crawling all over the place. No, from they were the coming ceiling. from everywhere, yeah. from the walls, uh, under the beds, from the, oh, in the microwave, in the restroom, in the toilet, everywhere. Mm. But I remember when I was a, a <laughs> child like Benji, I, I watched a movie called La Casa de las Cucarachas and I, I, I was feeling like the house I, was, of the roaches, I, I was in the house of the roaches and La Casa de las Cucarachas. Nos vamos de paseo. ¿A la dónde? Nos vamos de paseo. Oh, de los... <laughs> estás en el barajo. Oh my goodness. Mami, tú estás en el barajo. Open the door. I cannot. Love it. All the charges and everything? Yes. Set it up, set it up. Got everything? Yeah. Good stuff. Got it. Good stuff. Good stuff. Got it. Good stuff. Good stuff. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready to rumble? No. <laughs> Are you ready to cut your hair? Oh no! This way, this way. This way. Thank you, Father, for wait, this wait. beautiful day. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to pray in an easy way, in an easy way. Thank you for your goodness, your kindness, your faithfulness, and for your mercy. We come for you, Father, to ask your protection in our way to, to ready. Thank you for our family. Thank you for our lives, our health, in Jesus' name. 
So as we were driving down the road, I saw on the right hand side this amazing sight. It was all these orange trees full of oranges. Huge field. There were just a lot of them. Yeah. And then and it was clean. They are the producers of the orange. And yes. Then company. on the other side, he saw like cut trees and dead. Like they a storm. Yeah. When it was like a like a hurricane just came through and devastated everything. This is this is something that I always talk about, and is the seed. When you plant a seed, how long does it take? Or better yet, when you eat uh, orange seeds, uh, what do you do with them? Uh, people usually throw them away. But what if you planted these these seeds? You have trees that will give so much fruit, and they will continue to give fruit. The only issue is that it takes about three to four years for an orange tree to give to give fruit. And that is the process that a lot of people don't want to take. They don't want to wait that long. So that's the reason why they throw away the seeds. But the seed is such a powerful thing, okay? And in this, in this picture, we're seeing how, how we can have a, a produce, how we can have a multiplication of, of that seed. And then on the other side, if we don't be careful, if we're not good managers of what God has given us, that is exactly what we're going to get because we're going to let the enemy in our house, in our lives. So it was, a, it was an amazing sight. Thank you for sharing with us. Yes? Ben. Ben. When we were getting into the national park, we didn't know that we needed chains. And we were trying to figure it out how to put them. And <laughs> it took us like more than an hour. Yes. To find them. No, and to put them. And to put them. Because you were putting put them, them in the put them on. On the yeah, because he was confused. I was confused. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Everybody was coming with the chains in the back side, and we were putting them in the in the front. Yeah. <laughs> well, not everybody, backwards. because some some of uh, some cars are from the front wheel drive. Yeah. Everybody. Some... But the most of the people. All right. So needless to say, it was an odyssey to find the chains and to put them on, uh, because we're running out of daylight. Are you seeing? So we gotta put it in here, this little thing, and this is to lock it up a little bit, okay? I don't understand. Hold on, no, I'll show you. Just here. watch. This works right here. So this thing goes right here like this, right? Mm -hmm. And it says that you're supposed to send this one to here. Yeah? You lock it in place like this. I'm gonna try to put it one more. And we're gonna try to wiggle it to see if we can put one more. In both? Yeah. Ah, I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. But the guy was telling us that maybe this one needs to have them in front. Okay. Oh, you see? Indeed. That's it. Look. So, uh, we're, we got to the top of the mountain. We went to take the pictures for the family pictures. Uh, we, we wanted to take some Christmas pictures. So it was very cold. It was very cold. Very cold. But needless to say, we found it was it was amazing. On top on the hill. It was mountain. amazing because as we were taking the pictures, we were moving more towards the edge, towards the edge. And we and found the then, sunset. Look at this site. Wow! Look at that. There's a puppy, eh? <laughs> ven, ven. Vamos, ven. Qué hermosa. Como te ves de linda en ese paisaje. Esta es mi amada. Mi amada, mi amada, mi amada. Tienes frío. Estamos en una montaña muy maravillosa. Mire cómo se ve esto de maravilloso. ¿Ah?
So we're driving on the road and and it was foggy, almost the whole way. Oh yeah. Well, my wife uh, saw the beginning of the fog, but she didn't see the whole way because they went to sleep. I went driving. <laughs> mentira. La belleza que no pueden decir mentiras. Y yo me acuerdo que yo estaba así. Porque no se veía nada y yo estaba preocupada que él se dormía. Claro. So we were so excited because we were finally going to the church Bethel. And this is something that we talked about for the last five years. When are we going to go to Bethel? And the day arrived. Because we want to take Benji to the summer camp and we wanted to have some info from them. But it was an amazing day. We were in the three services, mm -hmm. during the three services. And we felt the Holy Spirit the whole day. Hello, welcome to La Family Calderon. Today we are in Reading, California at Bethel Church. This is an amazing ministry and they have an awesome kids ministry as well. The, you know, we've been planning about it. We've been planning this trip about five years. Yeah. You know, five, six years. We really wanted to come here. You know, even though we live in Southern California, we always wanted to come here, but we just, the time was never there. But this time, it came and we're here. We're here today. We're gonna, we're gonna have an amazing time. We know we are. Um, we know that God is with us everywhere we go. But I think that whenever we get into the fire, uh, we get ignited a little bit more. Okay. So the stay river. tuned. Yes. The river. So stay tuned for what is going to happen. Bye, I love you. The visit to this church was amazing. I mean, they talked about revival, they talked about blessing, they talked about um, mission work, they talked about uh, everything that the books of Acts talks about. If you read the books of Acts, coming here was like coming into the books of Acts. It was coming alive. It was amazing for, my, for me. This is La Family Calderon, mm -hmm. and we wanted to invite you guys to ask every single day to your Heavenly Father for a word. He always speaks to us. He yeah. always wants to, to have a conversation with us, a relationship. And we inviting you, we are inviting you guys to, to have that conversation, a simple conversation. You need it. We need it. Yes. So God wants to give us a word every day. He wants you to hear his voice. He wants you to talk to him. It's, it's, it's really simple. All you have to do is keep him in your mind and always ask him what you, what you should be doing. Okay, so God bless you.
Hola. Nosotros queremos que ustedes se queden viendo esto, este capítulo porque estamos acá mostramos cómo ayudamos a gente y necesitamos que necesitamos muchos subscribers también necesitamos que estén todos muchos views y también necesitamos que no, muchos conozcan también de Dios que es lo más importante. Así es. <risa> I was doing, I was having fun with my friends. I'm gonna tell you something. It was a friend that is called Benjamin too. <laughs> what? It's called Benjamin too. Uh, his name was yeah. Benjamin? Yeah, Benjamin. Like me. Okay. He's the same. Thank you. And it was really fun. I was doing play, was playing, I was doing activities. I was um, praying for Look at the kids. Uh, we were singing, we were dancing, we were like doing things. Games. Games. And it was fun. And it was fun. Bye. Okay. <laughs> La Family Caldero. <laughs> What are we doing today? <laughs> All the time, freezing our snow. Uh, huh? Fine. So, we're, I guess we're supposed to be doing a game for you guys today. Couple and, game? Well, couples game? Couples game. I you say a couple games. No, couples game. Okay, couples game. You know my first language is Spanish. I'm trying my best. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do it. We have a friend, his name is Lucho, and he's gonna ask uh, the question. Uh, Carl Lucho. Oh, Carl Lucho, okay. Yeah. <laughs> he's from Colombia, he's Criollo. He's from Colombia. Caramba, <laughs> caramba. <laughs> okay. Oh, so, okay, guys. I guess we, the way. The, we need to close our eyes. There are some rules to the game. Uh, first, we're gonna close our eyes, and <laughs> we're gonna close our eyes, and what we're gonna do, Ray. <laughs> My goodness. What we're gonna do is we're gonna close our eyes. Uh, our friend is gonna ask us some questions and we're supposed to point to each other. I'm sure you've seen this, but the questions, I don't even know what the questions are. Me neither. So, okay. I'm told over here. So okay, let's start. We're gonna be pointing at each other, okay? Yeah. And make sure you don't open your eyes. Don't cheat. Hey guys, if, yeah, if you cheat, please let me know by a message or something. Yeah. I'm gonna reward you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Question number one. Okay. Close your eyes. Okay. You ready? All right. All right. Who eats more? Okay. <laughs> uh, who started flirting first? Okay. Uh, who gave the first kiss? Who says sorry first? Okay. Uh, who's the funniest? Okay. <laughs> who's more patient? Who's a better cook? Who does the dishes? <laughs> Hurry up! Uh, who gets more upset? Okay. Um, who cries watching movies? <laughs> Who parked the car better? Okay, this one's really funny. Who farts the most? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, uh, who spends more time on the phone? Okay. Um, who's more adventurous? Who eats quicker or faster? Okay. Who takes last showers? <laughs> Who falls asleep first watching movies? Okay. Uh, and who is the messiest? Yeah, that's it. That, 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 that. Okay. Yeah. I won. Uh, actually, no. you both failed. <laughs> We're 
we're gonna watch the video later and let, we're gonna see who was talking the truth. Who was saying or pointing out the truth. Why are you crying? See, she's already crying. No, it's very cool. <laughs> okay, guys, please watch our videos, share with your friends. This is our family Calderon and we want to bless you. Yeah, make sure that you su subscribe, hit the uh, bell button, and leave a comment, all right? So we're still at the hotel, and my son was asking me about our trip to San Francisco, and I had to explain to him that there is a purpose to everything that we do, not just to travel and take pictures, but to pray over the cities or play over the places that we go to, pray for the people that, that, that live in these places, and, um, and also, you know, share as family. You know. And during this reality, you guys are going to see some different places and we call this traveling with the family Caldera. Go to San Francisco, okay? San Francisco? Okay, San Francisco. San Francisco. San Francisco. No, San Francisco? <laughs> San Francisco. San Francisco? Yes. We're going to go. We're, we're going today. Why? To San Francisco. Because we want to visit. Take pictures. No, we're going to, what the Lord was telling me this morning is that we need to pray over the sea from the high side. Okay? So we're going to, we're going to go to the, the mountain that is across San Francisco and we're going to ascend there and we're going to pray over the sea. And we're going to worship a little bit. This is the picture. There's a purpose for everything, okay? And we have to fulfill the purpose. Vamos a cruzar el puente de San Francisco, que nunca lo hemos cruzado. Um, by foot or by car? By car. Crossed it a few times already. <clears throat> Maybe you've been sleeping. <laughs> it's a long... It takes what hours? It doesn't take hours. It just takes minutes. It takes minutes. How many but, minutes? 20 minutes? I don't know. We can time it together when we get there. What? That. We'll put the, the clock and we we'll say, okay, we're gonna start and then click start. And then when, when it finishes, you can stop and then you can, it, you're gonna see how many minutes it takes. Yeah, okay? 30 minutes. No, just take a couple minutes. It's a couple minutes. I'm gonna call Esperanza first. Yeah. We need to pray for him. Bueno, Esperancita es una de las mujeres que hace parte de la fundación, que toma clases ahí. Ella, eh, cuando la conocimos, era una persona recicladora, estaba reciclando para sobrevivir. Y ahorita estamos comenzando con ella un proyecto, ella trabaja la guadua y el bambú y queremos apoyarla, un emprendimiento para que ella salga adelante con su familia y aquí la estamos llamando porque los doctores le habían dicho que, que tiene una desnutrición severa, entonces mirando cómo podemos ayudarla, no solo en lo espiritual, cierto, que, que es tan necesario, sino también en la parte física. Entonces, entonces mi, esposa, mi esposa va a empezar la oración y, y bueno, esperamos, esperamos, nosotros confiamos en Dios de que él, él dijo que iba a hacer la obra en nosotros y Él la va a terminar, ¿ok? Bueno, pues. Padre Celestial, te damos muchas gracias por la oportunidad que nos das de reunirnos con esperanza. Tú sabes, Señor, que desde que la conocimos ella es un lugar muy especial en nuestras vidas, es una persona muy especial. Hoy en unidad, Señor, en, en el nombre de Jesús, que sobre todo el nombre, creyendo, Señor, de que Tú estás acá con nosotros, de que Tú eres el que guarda su vida, creyendo que eres Tú quien la protege y creyendo que ya su sanidad fue paga en la cruz hace más de dos mil años. So we are talking with the architect uh, in this meeting. Uh, this is something that we continue to work for the foundation to build, the, the, to construct the eight-story building. And we are trying to get our license permit through the city of Pereira. And it's been a little difficult uh, but we are trying to overcome all the obstacles that, that come our way. So another thing with this meeting was that I was a little frustrated because here we are trying to continue with what God had talked about. You know, he gave us a design and processes, which is two different things. So the design for the building is what's going to allow the processes to be functioning in this building. 
And so if we change the design, then the processes change. And that is what the Lord had talked to us about. And we are very reluctant to change the design of the building. And um, we're just praying that the Lord will show us the way and show us uh, how we need to continue on with this because it's a very difficult process. We weren't expecting such a um, rejection from, from the city. The architect with whom I spoke initially, which is the one eh, el proyecto porque tuvieron que contratar personal externo para poder atender todas las solicitudes él eh, pidió que quedáramos como como eh, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Religi actividades religiosas sí. eh, entonces me pidió que hiciera una carta que la mandara que todo eso entonces yo le dije que sí so we have uh, a couple hours to get to San Francisco, and then from there we're gonna go. We're gonna go to the Golden Bridge. The Golden Bridge. To Snake Street. Snake Street, and then the last. The pier. The last stop, the pier. Pier Thirty Nine. Oh, okay. Okay. It's gonna be cold. Yeah. A little bit. And then from there we're gonna go to Modesto and spend the night there. Once we, I think we're gonna get there pretty late. And then from there we can go to Yosemite after we finish the rest. Father God, so many things are going wrong in our nation. So many things that uh, a lot of people are not seeing as wrong. Because we have turned from you and we're doing things that are against your word. We used to revere your name. We used to love you a lot more and people are going against your word. Now, people are worshiping idols, you know. People are looking at famous people. People are looking at riches. People are looking at uh, fame and, and that, and you're not pleased by that. But Lord, your word says that if we humble ourselves as a nation in secure face, that you will hear from heaven, forgive our sins and heal our land. Father, we act upon your word and we ask you to forgive our sins, all of our sins, for we have sinned against you greatly. Heal this nation from the pain, from the immorality, from fear, from depression, and help us become your children. Help us become great again, the way this nation used to be. We love you, we need you, and we pray for salvation over this city. We pray for all these people. And we ask you, Lord, that you will send your Holy Spirit to convict them from sin, convict them from all the things that they're doing wrong, and that they will be able to see you. And we ask God, as it says in Ephesians, uh, the book of Ephesians in chapter one, that uh, you will give us a spirit of wisdom and a spirit of revelation of your word. In the name of Jesus, amen. So this is something Benji was asking about before we left. Uh, he wanted to know how much time it took uh, driving on the, on the Golden Gate Bridge. And I said, well, let's time it. And I, when, when we started driving through. Oh, I, we were guessing. It was like the time. one minute, 46 seconds. Yes, that's what you said. So yeah, it was about, wow. it was about a minute, 46 seconds, because when we drove onto the bridge, I said, hey, Benji, we forget the time. And he's like, no, I'm already doing it. So he was on top of that, you know? And, and it was amazing because he, he's always wanting to know little details like that. Benji, you didn't time it. I'm timing it. Oh, you are? Yeah. Okay. Okay, Benji. When I tell you stop. One, two, three, and four. Stop. One minute, six seconds. 
one minute for six seconds, huh? Another of the most known places here in San Francisco is the Snake Street. Lumber Street. The Lumber Street. Mm -hmm. And we were uh, watching some uh, episodes or, or movies. Movies. The cars, like racing cars, something in that street, or no? no. How <laughs> Yeah. San Francisco is very known uh, in the movies because of the streets that go up and down. You know, go down the hill and they, uh -huh. and they go up and down. Too but Lumber Street is like a snake. So, it, and you'll see it here in a minute. Um, and my wife mentioned something that was really particular about this place, is that most of the houses around this area are very, very expensive. <laughs> What happened with the email? Uh, I'm responding to one of our friends. I'm really confused on what he what he's asking for. Uh, 